What up guys, today we're going to a wine festival in Uheske Haradishte, one of the biggest cities in the area that I live. It was first discovered in 1257, which is pretty old and has a population of around 25,000. And with its surrounding um, neighbors, it's about 35,000. So it's gonna be pretty cool. There's gonna be folk music, wine and this time of the year there they are selling the juice freshly pressed from the grapes called Burjak. Burjak. Um, it's at a beautiful spot where the, the, the juice is really sweet and alcoholic at the same time so it tastes like you're drinking juice can't even notice the alcohol or you do after a couple and we're gonna test a few of them and just have a nice day let's get to it I should note also that um, Burjak, Burjak. Um, is very cleansing for you, so you need to be close to a toilet, I think, in my personal opinion. And we're going to make sure it's in, be in between the sweet spot. Not too sour or, or fermented, nice and sweet, not too sweet. I'm going to name myself the official tester of the Burjak, of the Uhezge Harit. Keep saying it wrong! Burjak. I'm going to name myself the official tester of Burjak uh, for Uhezge Adedishte 2021, so let's get to it. And the Czech people love this drink, so I guess I have to fit in. Traffic is already long. It's gonna be a long time to find a park. I'm trying to find outside the park. This is very hard. I think we nailed it. Then. We nailed it. There's literally no room. Ready to go, Yanni Banani? Yes, I am ready. I'm super ready. You ready to go, Tills? You're a little dark in there. She's grumpy. She's not grumpy, we just all have. First, uh, Burchak for the day. I'm gonna give it a taste. It's from Zlomek uh, Vavra. It's a little bit sweet. It's a little bit sweet. I think it could be more fermented. I'm becoming an expert now. But it's delicious. It tastes just like apple juice. Nashravi. We're in beautiful Uhiska Haradish there today. We're going to try some of this Burjak. This isn't the main square, but there's so many people around, as you can probably see from the videos before. Uh, it's a great atmosphere to be here, and it's really nice to be part of the Czech culture. Everybody's dressed up in this folklore kind of dress. Not so much me, but everyone else is. It looks really cool. It's nice to be part of a different culture and learn new things. This was such a cool atmosphere. This was awesome. These dances were amazing and the folk music was so good. Just have a little listen.
It was awesome. Oh, we got some friends hello, here. My hello. Great. Hold on a sec, Christina. I said hello and you said great. You meant to reply with hello. <laughs> What's going on? Now it's now I'm fine. Hey man, what's up? Hello. Not much here. Some of these outfits were really awesome. It was like going back in a time machine. It was awesome. Did I say that twice? My man here was absolutely killing the dancing. I had to take a video of it. Some. Action! <laughs> I'm trying. I've got falafel on my teeth. I'm trying butchak from. Take two. I'm trying butchak from Nedokonitze. Nedokonitza. Nedokonitze. <laughs> it's very hard to pronounce these Czech words. Um, we're gonna test this one out. Probably should have used a glass. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's not so sweet. I think it's the perfect level. It's not very acidy. It's delicious. I'm gonna drink it all and probably shit my pants. I'm gonna give this one a uh, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. The last one I'm gonna give a five out of ten. It was too sweet for me. But tomorrow it'll probably be good, which is the beauty of burchak. And so there's only such a small period of time when you can have the burchak when it's like in between juice and too fermented so you want it on a sweet spot you want it to be semi-sweet and a little bit tangy at the same time and you will not be able to taste the alcohol legendary so this happens every year in Uhezke Haradishte it's really really cool and Burchak is a massive part of this time of the year so everyone's starting to get their grapes ready for wine making and they're pressing the grapes so all the leftover Burjak Burjak keep pronouncing it right all the leftover butchak gets made into wine, so nothing is wasted. It's just that little sweet spot when it's the best and delicious. find some food after having a few drinks and I thought maybe I should try something new so I got a Bremborak. Bremborak. No, Bremborak. 
That's how you pronounce it. Ooh. I'll let you know. Here's Cody's lesson on Brembordak. It's made from grated potato, egg, and some spices, and then deep fried. As you can see, these ladies are putting them, putting the raw batter into one side and then bringing it over to the end, and you can have it with garlic or salt. So I got some Bram Bordak, which is a traditional Czech food. Uh, it's made from potatoes, I'm pretty sure it's like a hash brown. I put some garlic on top and some salt, but we'll give it a go. It feels real crunchy. It's got some awesome sound. Mm. It's unreal. It's deep fried, but it's unreal. Highly recommend. That's like bigger than my head. I'll eat this again for sure. Alright, I'm trying a red wine Budachak. My pronunciation isn't getting any better, so give me a break, please. What's going on with your face, dude? <laughs> Budachak. Is that right? I'm trying red Budachak. So, we'll give it a go. Oh, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's like a perfect amount of acidity, not that sweet. I like this one a lot. Ostrezi vineyard for the win. So I really need to go toilet. Well, for a number one, so not what you're thinking. Um, but on the way, I found a good spot to see the stage and there was some awesome music being played. Pretty much a sausage in a bun, but it's fully enclosed. Rohalik's very popular in the Czech Republic. They pretty much eat it with everything. It's just a breadstick, but they made it fresh every day. People just buy like one or two at the shop, eat them for a day, then buy some the next day. So we're gonna give it a go. I've got mustard, it's got a sausage in the middle. Mm. It's unreal. And there's no mess because there's nothing coming out. It's a perfect hot dog. Enjoy. If you go to the Czech Republic, definitely try one of these. At this point in the day, I should have just been drinking it from the bottle. Would have made it easier for me. <laughs> 
Let's try some more food. All right, guys, this is the last food I'm tasting for today because I'm full. But I'm doing this for you. I'm trying halushki, which is Slovakian. It's kind of like a Slovakian potato dumpling, a bit like gnocchi. Pretty much gnocchi. Uh, with a Slovakian cheese and pork on top. I'll give it a go. Mm. Mm, it's really good. The pork is really crispy and it's really creamy. It's like a creamy, you imagine like a creamy, cheesy gnocchi with uh, bacon on top. Really crispy bacon. Delicious. I give it a 7 out of 10. So normally you can buy these in a smaller size, but I prefer to get the 1 litre bottle. It's a bit more economical and you look cool as well. Cheers from the Czech Republic. Alright guys, this is the last food I'm tasting for today because I'm full, because I'm full, because I'm full. Alright guys, so we've got frigal here, which is a bit more traditional from a bit higher north from Uheske Haradiste. It's topped with pear and like a crumb made of uh, butter and flour, I think. And sugar, butter, flour and sugar it's made from. Kind of looks like a pizza. Smells very, very sweet. The, the dark part is pear, blended up, dried and blended up. And we'll give it a taste. Mm. Mm. It's really, really, really good. Has a bit of a bready base. It's like the best kind of pizza you could have if you didn't want a savory pizza. Frigal, definitely give this one a go. I wish I had more for you guys, but that was my day in Uheskaradishta. It was amazing. And I have another wine festival this weekend. So stay tuned and subscribe if you like that, because I'm going to be traveling all over the Czech Republic and finding out the hidden gems. Catch you later.